Let's do it. All right, we're recording now. So welcome to community, everybody. Uh, I'm your host, Kenny Jones, and today we got my guy, Ruben Sorrell, in the building. What up? The smoothest dentist out. <laughs> Smooth the muse. What up? Smooth How the doing? muse. Thank you. Well, thank you for welcoming me to the community. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. How you doing today? How you doing tonight? Oh, man. Um, I'm going to bring a somber tone. It's like every other Sunday is like the saddest day of the week because this is when I um, drop off my boys. Oh, Cameron yeah. and Chase. Um, and we you know we were just together all weekend and at the beach and one of my sons turning three on Wednesday. So Jeez, happy we were just birthday. having that moment. Hey, happy birthday, Cameron. Um, so yeah, it's just been complete love. And so now it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's good. <laughs> right. It's, it's good I had to come in and check on you then. Right, oh man, hey, you came in the perfect time. <laughs> Shout out to the Smooth family. Hey, yes. And actually, uh, Happy New Year too. We just got Happy started with the New Year. We haven't oh, talked in a minute. I think we saw each other last in 2019, actually. Man. When I visited hey, the But I was frat appreciative house. of it. I was appreciative of that meeting, man. For real. It was serendipity how that <laughs> happened, you know? It was, you was a guest of one of my roommates and we ended up clicking and talking for an hour or something. Right. <laughs> we were talking for a smooth minute. It was, us. Uh, it was, it was, that was good. And that's just how, you know, hey, we say a uh, game recognized game in the Bay, man. We already know. Seven on seven, seven in the building. <laughs> hey, 415, man. <laughs> we got the Bay Area heads in here. Right. Let's, let's talk a little bit about that frat. What was the name of that frat? Or what uh, frat you so I Omega Fraternity, um, strictly a perf. It's literally, when I say there's, when you get to a certain life, like when you get to a certain positions and communities, communities, um, there's different societal groups. And just like if you're familiar with undergrad and they have a frat life, and if, you know, we're listening to, you got, predominantly african-american and they know about the divine nine shout of fraternities them. shout out shout out to them um well professional schools have those fraternities and societies as well and one of them is Psi Omega fraternity and just so happened ucsf has a house that's oh. been over 100 years old so it's not like a dorm. It's just like legit own whoever is living in there owns it, owns the house at the time. It's just passed down and passed on. And I actually just moved out last week. That was my 2021 uh, resolution. So get out of there. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, you know I'm I'm just like the Jeffersons, man. I gotta I finally, I finally got a piece of pie. <laughs> man, I don't move up out of there. <laughs> hey, come on. We start from somewhere. That's dope, though. We didn't even—I didn't even say that. I mean, you're in dental school right now, and you're going to UCSF. How is yeah. that experience? Like, let's talk about that. Let's get into that a little bit. Shout out to um, SNDA more than a dentist shirt, right? Hey. Here. So, um, so for me, in so many words, I can say, going to the institution I go to. Being from San Francisco, Baby Hunters Point, it's um, it's a dream come true. You know, it's literally like if I could have, I literally remember this. One of my um, closest family members, mm -hmm. um, and you know, getting into dental school is not, it's not a given. So you, um, I didn't get in the first two times I applied, and so I had a real good inkling that. I knew I did what I had to do, and so. But my one of my favorite family members was like, I don't know why you waste your money and even applying to that school. I was like, Well, I'm gonna just spend my money on this, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do this one on my own. And uh, so, end up getting in and um, being blessed and be able to create a legacy and you know just being from here and it's it's really just 
bigger than what I can even imagine because I see the alumni and the people that come behind me and they say certain things that we're doing it couldn't even be imagined you know like having right. sit down conversations with the with the black student body with the dean of the university things like that couldn't have been imagined so with the black student body period yeah <laughs> right right more than four people so right. uh one for every year so just for me to just kind of be a part of history in my own mind is you know a blessing and it wasn't because of me it took a community you know and Definitely. that's what it takes to raise a child that's what it took me to get here i had to have some mentors and had some some lucky breaks and some people that believed in me and um i just lucked up and became a, a hometown hero yeah because you're fifth generation right Four, 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 fourth, four, fourth, fourth four, generation. Four, yeah, that, and yeah. you got the fifth generation coming. Right, the like, fifth, fifth is here. They already yeah. Here. Yeah. exactly. That's crazy. Like, I don't think people can really understand how, what that means culturally and like for the city in general. You know, like that's something so to be appreciative about. Honestly, um, it's like especially in the time and the days that we're living in now is that we don't stay in one spot you know yeah. we don't know what it's like to really hold roots down and to have um real faith and love and adoration to a specific piece of land and property right. and i'm just lucky enough to it wasn't it wasn't because of me you know <laughs> it was, it, the stars the right. literally it, it's a my parents her parents, her parents, you know. Yeah. And then it took me for my boys to, and yet again, it's all community and it's all, you know, we're only as strong as our weakest link. And right. I'm just hoping I can just strengthen it. Man. So if you were to do anything else, what would you be doing instead of dentistry? Well, um, from one of my uh, mentors, Dr. Kaluzi, he always told me there's not a but, but there's always an end. So That's def that is the definition of you that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, you know, just to be as a, I'm, I'm thankful to even be on this planet. You know, there's a lot of people, you know, these back, I grew up in, you know, right. social media age where MySpace. Um, <laughs> In five high, right in high school man there used to be it used to be like a memorial page seemed like every other week you know right. black men from the city going to schools that i go to and um in a community living in a community same community as me a couple blocks down from me having similar sets of friends you know we're taking the same bus lines you know we're we're in the same universe and yeah. these black men have for one reason or another didn't make it through this life and didn't make it to this time so everything else is you know i'm just lucky and glad and prayerful and i mean it's bigger than me and so now that i made Absolutely. it to this point in life why settle there's no such thing you know because i've already surpassed anything than what i thought i would do so let's keep going I think that's what I think every day when I wake up, you know, like, man, I'm here. Let's do bro. it. Let's try. Let's try. We might as well try. Bro, I got to talk my stuff on you right quick. <laughs> Come on. This man goes to, I'm talking about I'm a place sorry. I couldn't have thought about going to. This man, it's literally historic that we don't get in this place. And this man, black man, <laughs> with, with a mop top, no less. <laughs> <laughs> is out there and I can't do nothing but cheer you on bro and give you your flowers while you're still here man I appreciate and that bro that's why I just see you and and I knew from that moment that we clicked I didn't even know what it was you was going to but I seen some light and I seen some energy and um, I just had to you know give you some love whenever I could and here we are Man, I appreciate that for real. I remember I looked into like the alumni stuff at my school and I started counting. I'm like, hey, wait a mm. minute. There was only like 30 black people that graduated from here. Nah, I got to talk to the Dean today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can we change this? 
Well, I um my post back that I went to was um in partnership with um San Francisco State University and um uh, your school. Mm. So um I damn I had a I like presented my research um Chief Whitening past president and future at UOP at the original um campus on the other side of town not that old nice plush um Stop. Or, <laughs> I don't know what that is the yacht club <laughs> yeah. yeah you know hey no history just you know just a speedboat why not you know? <laughs> hey go ahead hey even though I've been in there too I've been in there I've been in that yeah. building as well but yeah. that's where I um that's where I did my um went in partnership with my post back and, and presented my uh, research. And so I'm very familiar with that place. And so that's why I even cheer you on even more because Man. it was some of us in the pipeline that, you know, was in those rooms with those same people. And while, you know, Dr. Arthur Dagoni was still alive and we still didn't get that chance, and, but you did. And so, Hey, Man. even though we on different, we still on different boats, but I'm still cheering you on because we still parallel. Man, that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point, honestly. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about these ands for you, though, because I know you said there's no buts, there's only ands. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Let's talk about Pop Pop. Oh, bro. Okay. Read it with Pop Pop. Story time with Pop Pop, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I literally, ju I literally just got my camera and I was just, um, cause I had moved. I was really posting way more than what I was, but um, mm -hmm. you know, we never see a black man or even hear of a black man, especially a young black man reading to our children. Right. You know, not and you know, our women do so much. They're so everything. Much. They're literally defining what it is to be there for a child and now for me to be a young father to two yeah. black boys i'm just like i'm thinking back to all the books that i didn't hear didn't read and now what if, and i know this black boy is multiplied upon thousands if not upon millions in this world and if i cannot do at least one and touch a couple um through youtube why not and why not just keep on giving them as many experiences as i can and i'm gonna keep on working on that but that's really the passion behind that yeah and, that's dope uh, yeah so because i read to my boys even though you know i'd be having to tackle them down and yeah oh, yeah <laughs> you, know, you, got to. you got to you got to start those conversations know that my story wasn't independent and their story is probably an exception right so i at least wanted to do my part on you know story time with pop pop yeah that's that's super dope just like you were saying about our women doing so much you know when man when thinking about the things that we could do there's just such a plethora of where we can not only support but lead the way in other ways you know right and right. that just means just doing it. We literally just have to do it, you know? Exactly. Like, we we should honor them and praise them as much as we need to, man. Because where would we be without our, our people who birthed us, people who are our first teachers, you know, our psychologists, our cheerleaders, our, yeah, our, our everything, you know? Our 100%. Shout out to all the women. Shout out to mom. Shout out to everybody. Man. I was raised by women, and um, I just have nothing but respect and ad admiration for them. So if I can do my little part, why not? Right. Speaking of little parts, let's do another and. <laughs> and. <laughs> and so Robin Hood, what's up? Then Robin Hood began in. It's like so that must have been um 2015 2016. Mm -hmm. um so i didn't get into dental school on the second time and i'm like man i can't do this like i'm not cookie cutter like these other applicants like this the way that 
I'm being told to go is not my road. You know, that's okay for those who are doing that type of cookie cutter road going, doing this, getting a certain amount of hours from here, doing right. that. I'm like, I'm not speaking to what it is that I'm gonna be in this oral health universe, the world. And um, so I just say, you know what? I'm gonna do what it is I feel I'm supposed to do. And so I just, one day I got like, probably like 300 toothbrushes and toothpaste and printed up some um, dental health advice and some, and on the back put like free and reduced health and went to, um, different baby hunters point hoods and um just pass them out door to door and from there that's that's where we began did that a couple of times and went to a couple events then started the um cutting care initiative going to all the cosmetologists and uh barbers in the community and giving them um telltale signs of oral cancer and uh also just giving the all the patrons and them toothbrushes, toothpaste, and the same type of information that we gave for Dinner Robin Hood. And um, then just finally ended it out. I had a um, master's project, I know I'm going on and on. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a master, I was getting my master's at um, AT Steel University um, mm -hmm. in public health with a dental emphasis. Yeah. And a, par a class was to make a community-based uh program it was like two quarters worth of thank you sir cheers to y'all as well everyone in the community cheers, cheers. um so i had i had really thought about this and you know in my experiences in the oral health world it was so many people i came into contact and not two people unlike the ones that I went to high school with who necessarily didn't wasn't didn't want to go to a four year institution right and and it ended up you know working in retail or what have you and kind of waited until a couple years later on in life and wanted a substantial respectable income and just then they stumbled upon um dental um dental hygiene, dental assistant, and through trying to find a reasonable wage, they found a love of dentistry and for oral health and wanted to go. And I was just like, why, what if this, um, what if this was flipped? Like, what if this experience was given to these people before they went to retail or before they had children and their back was against the wall to where they needed and felt like they were due a substantial and respectable type of occupation and right income. right so i just kind of made up a workshop just to you know just to see the different um like uh occupations in you know, and oral health outside of being a dentist. Because we always hear about a dentist, you know what that is. You know, right. dental office manager, dental technician, dental assistant, the dental lab. hygienist. Yeah, so um, just bringing light to all those. And so all those pillars make up what is Dental Robin Hood. And we just got a 501c3 certified in hey. 2020. So that's, uh, that's one of the, that's another and yeah and oh <laughs> bro honestly not nah, i really have to give you your applause for that too because uh any way i can help let me know that's a real oh, dope project sure. definitely definitely man yeah we uh we just trying to wait for uh some of this some of this little you know craziness to go down because we we want to go back out in the community right. and um door to door so um, but that's gonna come next. So we got some stuff on the horizon though. So I'm gonna keep you, I'm gonna keep you in mind. We building that community. Yeah, we are, let me know. And it's really cool how you were saying you're going to the cosmetology schools and the barbershops too, because why not? If there's another person that could potentially help someone or like early detection of their cancer, that's, that's the people that we need to know. That's the people that they need to see. Well, let me give you all a history lesson out there for the community watchers and listeners and subscribers and people who will watch this from both of our communities. Right. Um, 
Back in before um, and long time ago, there were things called uh, barber surgeons. So where you got your um, where you got your hair cut is also where they did simple extractions and teeth cleanings all in the same place. If you ever trip, if you see a barber and they got the red, white, and blue, that was for emergency. Um, wow. So if uh, I remember, I had an interview at Case Western uh, Dental School in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and mm -hmm. they have like a museum of like, they have like hair clipping stuff and also right there with their dental instruments. So um, I feel a kinship with the cosmetologists and barbers with the oral health community. And you know, that's not something that should be forgotten. Absolutely. That's super dope. I remember when I went to Temple um, for the interview there, they had the uh, little museum that they had too. And that was super cool just looking back at history because mm -hmm. uh, we've come a long way from just yanking stuff out of people. <laughs> I mean, shit, 10 years ago, um, we wasn't wearing gloves. Well, 20 years ago, people wasn't wearing gloves. So, I mean, now it's like, are you crazy? How are we <laughs> not wear gloves? How <laughs> are we not wear gloves? So, you know, but we all progress with time. Um, the problem with man is he was once a boy. Right. But that progression of time is day to day. And you oh, do yeah. something that is day to day. What oh, is that and other and? What is that another and? <laughs> I got um, you. Hey, man. Hey, that's that's why we build with each other, man. You know, that's the point. Uh, um, my daily report card. Hold on, real. Sorry. You know, sometimes You're you gotta good. tell it outside people. But um, uh, my daily report card, literally. Um, so let me, let me backtrack on the premise of my day report card. So, Let's do it. um, during the quarantine, uh, um, half and okay, February, first week of February, Niners lost the uh, Super Bowl. Okay. I had also broke my arm. First, first bone I ever broke in my life. Ouch. And also quarantine hit. I mean, I'm telling you, if there was a black hole, it would have for me it would have been that i was sucked up in it could have been that um, and um you know i just kind of took some time like we all had a lot of time on our hands to really think and i was like what do i need to do i need to i need to read something i need to make sure my my mind is fit i need to make sure my body is fit and I need to make sure that I'm stimulating myself in the proper way. And how am I going to build on that? So I just kind of, it was more so like a dedication to myself and mm -hmm. reflection and bringing light to how a day can mean so much and right. how we can easily forget about it. Like, you know, like, what song did you think about today and how did that what what did you think about like my my like i started off kind of light like what song first popped in your head in the day but we can never trip on how that song kind of like gives us the theme or like the ride or the beginning to our day and then like we never like even if it's a bad day we know like oh man i did bad on this test or i said this crazy thing in front of my superior whatever but we never want to give ourselves we can always say what we failed at which is a question that i ask but also what did you succeed at right what may, you know like what did you do well what can you build from you know we we're so hard on ourselves and i'm not and i'm one of those people as well but sometimes <laughs> we got to look at it both ways and so from that i just made you know it's a um daily show we got 204 episodes 200 episode just happened shut oh, up man thank you bro so we we just going literally every day and we got we got guess which one which you will be a part of i'm getting on know? there we gotta find so, that time yeah so i'm just making sure like i'm keeping accountability with myself and and I'm hoping that that inspires people to that to take a listen and to you know keep that accountability with themselves and kind of turn that mirror around and see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and what can we improve on from here? Because 
you know, it's the old adage, like, you know, today is the present. So, right. you know, yesterday's history and tomorrow's a mystery. So we got to live in right now. We get so wrapped up in, you know, our own little universe and our world and our phones. And, but that's why I make sure, like, did I do something physically? Yeah, I had hella phone conversations. Yeah, I might have had a lot of good email correspondence, but in all actuality, did I even move? Right. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, we gotta learn how to zoom out and zoom in on things, and I'm just shedding light on that. Another and. Another and, because not <laughs> only did this happen, but you wrote a book. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you wrote a book? <laughs> not the cackle. Yes, you man. wrote a book. Man, yeah, the book is smooth. Uh, volume one, Quarantine Revelations, exclusively on Apple Books. Please, everybody, go purchase that. If you in the community right now, you can just literally type up my name, Ruben Sorrell, or type in Book of Smooth. Yes. And um, this is like the prequel to the um, My Daily Report card because oh. I always because the first part of quarantine, I'm just, I'm binge watching. I'm like excessively masturbating. I'm like yeah. excessively uh, recreational marijuana smoking. Like I'm just in so much excess, you know? Yeah. And I just got to a point to where like, I'm like, why? Like seriously. And then I'm like, well, okay, I got all that down. I done watched everything there is to watch. Now, what if, why don't I look inside of myself? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's inside there and how much can we unwrap from there? And so when I told you all, um, if I read something, if I worked out and if I, um, meditated i would and i did all those in a in a day then right. i would feel like i was at full consciousness what i would call myself to be at full consciousness and then different things would come in my mind and i would just you know start you know sometimes when you when you write something down not even sometimes when you write something down you make it real and so I just, um, as I'm reading more, I'm like, okay, so what am I, what, what, I, what do I even stand for? You know, you ever always hear people say, yes. you know me better than that. Yes. You know better than that, blah, blah, blah. Like, and you're, you're like, yeah, I do know you. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, so what is it actually that you stand for? What should we know better from? Like, let's break it yeah, down to the yeah. most basic bare bones. And that's just my, my part and, and my best mode of thinking you know is like i'm setting the foundational level of like you take this you can probably be able to survive off in life from that you know like this is at least something to stand to stand your ground on some somebody who's a lost soul and i've been one and i'm not saying that i won't be one again Right, because being in the hey, if you guys watch the the Disney movie Soul, Soul, being in, oof, hey, oof. being in the zone and being a lost soul ain't too different from each yeah. other. Yes, sir. And um, one is just more enjoyable; other one you just literally lost. And I've been in both places, and um, I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, kind of set the foundation, set some light, set set a guide to those who could be lost or who needs some direction. And that's what that is. It's just literally me giving out in the most purest of form of uh, communication right. what it is to get through this life. Yeah, and I think I just finished reading it today. Shout out to you. Hey. Yeah, Thank yes, sir. You. And I think Thank it just you. speaks so much to just like self being sustainable for yourself and self healing and all those things that are like bottled up into us i think that that book is a good start for someone to actually address those issues you know like mm -hmm. what am i doing what is in excess what why how can i be the best me and i think that book is a good starting place for someone that has no idea what they want to do next it's and you'd be surprised how many people 
like majority of people is just don't we not even at the starting point you know yeah. so i'm just like if i'm an individual who's highly educated and military trained and da 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 and i'm still feeling like i'm lost or i need to start then how many people who wasn't as lucky as i am need that start as well so you know we gotta Absolutely. uh pay it forward you know yeah definitely y'all definitely should get that book uh please apple books oh, apple exclusively books. Exclusive. exclusively <laughs> uh but with that i think that's all the questions i really have for you bro thank you for spending some time with me uh, I really appreciate getting to know you better. Of course, it's gonna lead to more collaborations, more talk, more, more everything, more community. And I'm Absolutely. so glad to have you, bro. So glad to have you here. Absolutely, man. Thank you, hey, everyone. Please, if you, I'm gonna go on a whole bunch of spills. So let me do it. This hey, is your time. Your time. Um, I just want to let you know, everyone. Um, every day, let's just try to be the best version of ourselves. And we have to make sure that we are really present within this moment because you you can always look forward and just lose what's right there ahead of you. And I've been in both positions and sometimes you gotta open your eyes and look side to side. So if you guys wanna reach me on my personal Instagram page, at Smooth the Muse, that's zeros, not O's. Um, my daily report card, we're on all streaming podcast services, oh, or you can check out our Instagram and just go to the link tree or my personal, um, at my daily report card on Instagram. If you want to go to our website, check out, uh, com, or check out our Instagram and it'll lead you there too, or go to my, um, personal Instagram and check out the link tree story time with pop pop. You yes. can check it out. Just um, search Ruben Sorrell on YouTube or um, go to my link tree as well, which is on all of my uh, things. You can find me. Okay? You can find them, and I'm going to have all the links attached to this. All the links are going to be Thank there. You. All the ads. Yes, sir. Nice job. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of the community, and that's what it's about. Yes, sir. All right, bro. All right. We're gonna end this thing. <laughs>